Hey what is up everyone, I'm Starlord and today we're going to be taking a look at an old friend, well, it's kind of an old friend, it's actually kind of new, I mean when you guys saw this weapon in the DLC trailer for Nuka World, the gameplay trailer, you all automatically said holy crap it's the Chinese assault rifle from the previous game, and you were all going crazy, batshit crazy, and yeah, it kind of is, it looks very similar, but in fact, in this universe, or in this, I don't know, in this town, I guess, or in the Commonwealth, they actually call it a handmade rifle, and I have to admit, I have been using this now for a couple of days, and it is absolutely amazing. The customization on this weapon is pretty good, I've got to say. It's not the worst, but it's not either the best. It is just kind of in the middle. And I think a lot of you guys will be very pleasantly surprised at what you can actually do with this weapon. It also offers a huge amount of firing types such as, you know, automatic, single round burst, or even just a rapid fire burst. It's pretty good. I am very happy that they brought this into the new DLC. Okay, so first of all, what you are seeing in this gameplay right on screen right now is me using the handmade rifle. Now, this has not been upgraded at all, it does currently a damage of 55 and it uses 7.62 rounds. Now, the fire rate currently is 113, whereas the range is 191, which is really good, and the accuracy is surprisingly 74. Now, the value for this weapon, just a normal version of it, goes for around about 212, but we are going into our weapons workbench right now and we're going to try and customize it as high as we can to see what the highest amount of damage that you can do with this weapon is. So let's do that right now. So first off, we're going to upgrade the receiver and of course always the advanced receiver does the most damage. So that has put it up to 178. Now as we're going through the barrels right here, you can see that most of them do vary in size, which is pretty cool. And also these little stocks are pretty cool too. You can actually have a shovel as the stock. So that's that's pretty funny. I, I actually enjoyed the way they actually put that in there. Uh, the scopes are just normal, as you can imagine, to be honest, you can have sniper scopes, all that kind of stuff, and we can also have bayonets, including a suppressor on our weapon, which is a very nice touch indeed, it looks very big though, yeah. So now I'm going to slow down the video back to its normal rate, and we're going to take a look at the camos, because everybody thought that there were going to be lots, but in fact there's only four for this weapon, just this weapon. We first have the Disciples camo, which is again one of the clans in Nuka World, which looks pretty good. It is a very nice army looking kind of camo shade to the weapon. We also have the Operator's colors, which looks like an original AK-47. I have to admit, that looks very nice, and that is the one that I will be using from now on. But yeah, pretty nice that way they actually put that one in there. And again, if we go down, we can see that the one from the trailer, the painted version, is this one right here. And that is for another clan, but I don't really know why they, they didn't put their name in the colors or put it as like pack colors or something like that. I don't know, but still, it looks pretty interesting and very nice. I can imagine some of you guys would love this for your Raider builds. So what we're going to see right now is me shooting the weapon single fire, and it's pretty good. The accuracy isn't too great, you know, and the recoil is, is actually quite acceptable for an AK weapon. And uh, I can imagine a lot of you will love to use this firing type, although I do love to have rapid fire and just spray about. I would love to use this for my Raider build. And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at what we need to do to actually put on the automatic rifle. So as you can see, the powerful automatic receiver will take the damage down to 107, unfortunately. That is, again, very unfortunate, but still, it's not bad, considering that you do get to just spray everywhere you like. And again, we're looking at the gameplay right now, and the recoil is not bad at all. But then again, please remember that we have upgraded this weapon to its maximum potential. We are just changing the firing types of it. And uh, yeah, no matter what you choose, I think this weapon will be a fan favorite in this game. And of course, for all of you who didn't play the previous Fallout, it was a good gun back then too. That is why it was very much requested. And when everyone found out that this weapon was actually in the in-game files, but not in the game, everyone went crazy, you know? Everyone wanted this weapon and to play around with it and to actually get their hands on it and start shooting people with it, so yeah. Just a little bit of a tip for you guys out there, when you see the operators with this weapon, and it looks very shiny, it looks nice and polished, 
Do not worry, that is actually just the normal AK. There is no difference to the camo or anything like that. So don't go around just killing people just for it, because honestly, there is no difference at all. And, you know, you don't want all the raiders to be fucking you up when you want to go out and fuck everyone else up. You know what I mean? you got to have your raider clan with you. So, yeah, don't do the same mistake I did, because it is just the exact same weapon. There is nothing different about it, even in the camo. There's nothing different. Anyhow guys, that has been it for my introduction to the handmade rifle that you will see in this DLC. I love the sound effects, I love the animations for the reload, everything is just perfect about this weapon and I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on it. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching, if you did enjoy it then please leave a like and make sure you go and check out my other videos for more Nuka World guides. And until next time, I've been Star Lord. I'll see ya! And today, I'm going to be showing you all of the new creatures that you can find in the new Nuka World DLC. There are a couple of old friends who are returning.